Hi guys, we're back with Look Where I Look. So I got smart and put the puppy in there first. So I've got, and this I haven't used before, and I can see it's already getting smashed. So, and Chelsea, if you're there, I was going to post a picture of a little remote control. They, they got a hold of it again. It, it didn't make it this time. So I, you saw what happened to that squirrel, something along those lines. Anyway, I've got the keys, the keys, and then this thing which just represents. And I think you should always maybe kind of try to look. If you said, well, why do you look at this and think it's good? Because it's easy to pick up. That's what I'm thinking. It looks, you know, whatever way it landed, whatever way it landed, you know, or if they flipped it or whatever, it's, it's going to be easy to pick. And you do want to. There are times. Hi, Elsa. Oh, it's your favorite segment. Look where I look, training. Uh, you do, there are times you want to embolden dogs, and if you said when, uh, to have them say, there isn't anything I can't pick up. That's shoe bottom. How oh, there isn't anything. She picks up a dime. Don't make me go show you the video, Elsa. But she's emboldened in that aspect, thinking there isn't anything. Not, I'll give up or anything. Your job is to embolden them to believe. You know, well, they can pick it up. All right, so I'm going to put this here. I'm going to put these keys there I'm gonna put these there which is kind of it's kind of hidden but it she should be able to get it out. it didn't bother the other one all right and that right there okay any command or anything to start searching but if I just go to the platform and I'm just gonna look here first <laughs> I don't know where she went okay Again, you're you're not in any way trying to prompt them. Any, any the only reaction you're going to have is when they get it. totally ripping into my sand. Yeah. I think you have to have a Skylar though. I really do. It can't be. Normal has to be abnormal. Mm. Hunting the old fall. And you need to write that down too. They're going to hunt the old fall. That's what they do. Remember, if you're going to jockey at all, it needs to be very... 
And I want you to think of it, I kind of thought of it, it is kind of the reverse of, you know, when people first started training bird dogs and stuff, they weren't as birdy as the ones that they have now, but they were birdy enough for these people to notice. What is that thing looking at? That wasn't exactly what I was looking at, but there's my one-handed catch. I think the reason that you say in the beginning she saw those. Yay! Yay! Because what you want them to conclude is whatever I'm going to be doing has something to do with movement. All right, I've got to be able to bend its head, and she can't really see it from there. She might not be able to help, help herself, though. You've got to make it believable. Yeah, she couldn't help herself. The dog could not help itself. She didn't see it though. I think it's in there. And see, that's what I'm talking about. She checked. I need to make it a little more visible. She, whoops, uh oh. <laughs> And, and so she didn't think it was there. She didn't say anything. She didn't think it was, she doesn't know that glasses case yet. You almost brought that. It's just a little piece of plastic. Okay, I'm looking, looking. Yay! <laughs> now she saw it. That's her default. Again, I, I'm trying. I'm trying, but that's my. And if you can master the, if you can master the one hand, grab the object and give the treat at the same time, um, then you're doing good. It's not as easy as you think. And I'm very fumbly. I'm very awkward that way. All right, so now I'm saying to myself, I could get the dog to travel a little bit, and she needs that, because if you said what was making you think that, uh, when she got those white keys, she was kind of just jingling them around. She wasn't in a hurry to give them to me. So I'm just going to cause her, make her travel a little bit first without the keys. Platform. Yeah, come Skylar to rip some more into my zen. All right, so I'm just going to drop them. It's just going to be incidental. I'm not going to throw them. Absolutely adorable. So I want all of you to try that at home because if these little puppies can do it, you can do it too. Anybody can do it. It's just a little puppy. And it's acting from a place. If you said I'd rather play tug of war than do that, you're going to wish you hadn't. Because the place that this puppy's acting from... She's not thinking to herself, she's she gonna try to fight me for it. What I'm understanding that we have to be able to show them as a young puppy is 
it only has value. It only has value in that it can be exchanged for something else. It alone has no value. Its value is, it's valuable. It's valuable. Whoops. Yay. Precious, precious angel. It's valuable. It's, val it's valuable. It's very, very valuable. But only in the context that it can be traded for something else. And if you said we meet, like money. I <laughs> like money. You have to teach little kids, you know. They didn't used to have money. They, everything was just hand to mouth. So anyway, guys, it's very, very exciting work. And even though Skylar kind of ripped into my Zen, it still worked out. So, you know, my job, I'm saying to myself right now, this puppy needs a little bit more speed getting up there and stuff. So separate from the picking up the keys and all that. So that's what I'm going to work on. All right, guys. Hi, Nate. I hope you saw that. I, I want you to start doing this with dogs, Nate. It's... It's, it's crazy. It's, it's not only very, very exciting work, it's, it's spooky. It is spooky, the level of consciousness that they have that, that you can condition them to look. And if you said, oh, get over yourself, lady, they naturally do that. I, and I, I would say I know. And that's why they have those pop-up things for pointers. Because those are highly selectively bred to make very very tight mental notes about where the other dogs are looking all the time and and then they train them to do it even more but honoring a point and stuff like that that's all about i see that sun gun look and i'm looking where that sun gun's looking and that's what they're saying i'm gonna look where that sun gun's looking because that sun gun's onto something you know they believe that when the dog is looking there and just the default i think every companion dog trainer should aspire to some development of service dog training and if you said why because that's gonna blow up in the next 10 years it's gonna blow you know and if it's if it's that easy to do because if you said no I don't have time what you're telling me to do is too labor-intensive that's a crazy part it's not it's not at all that's the crazy part anyway you guys I'll be right back with more picking up the keys and this that and the other but you can get any dog and if you said, how do I know that? Because I got a blind deaf one. I'll go get the blind deaf one out. If a blind deaf one can do it, I think what we have to say to ourselves, verbiage is the least good form of communication. Body English. Oh, you cute little dog. Now it's pushing itself right now. It's getting in the wagon. Um, and so, yes, body English, that's it. That's our level of communication. That's where we're stripping it down. I would say I used to think that until I got this blind deaf one and I've been forced to understand there's got to be something. There's, there's subclinical language below body English. It's, it's the only possible explanation. So, Oh, Sally, Sally, I don't know if you've seen my... Um, yes, Nate, and I've seen some of your videos. I love what you're doing, and I think you've got... If, if you... If you would try this, you would see. You would be excited about it like I am. It's Every companion dog trainer should have some aspiration for your work to be able to benefit, I think, because it isn't that far of a stretch. You know what I mean? If, if you said, well, what's a service dog? A companion dog that can, can perform tasks, you know, that you could make complex, but, you know, that's that's how you have to think of. So if we are companion dog trainers, we want to make a difference and, want to make, and understand that in the next 10 years that it's going to go huge. Huger than it already is. Anyway, I will be right. Um, uh, I've got all of them doing it. You just look. And then they notice where you're looking. Let me see if I can get it to do it more time. If I can get it. If I can get it without seeing what I'm doing. Kind of distracting there. Okay. So now you're just looking. It's it's almost it's it scares me sometimes because they turn their head and do it without looking at where you're looking. It's it's crazy. It's crazy, crazy, crazy. Anyway, that wasn't the If you said, oh, it saw you hide it. I know, Nate. If you had joined early, you'd know. I'm not a good hider. Anyway, I'll be right back with 
more of that, but I think companion dog trainers, if there was any push, if you said what push could you make, obviously getting people to use the pager, but the second thing would be to get people to understand you can get any dog doing this and you're only helping your clients by giving, and if you said why, because it's something the dog can do good. It's something that the dog can do right and it's something every dog does, because if you said every dog doesn't pick stuff up, well, every dog I have does. You know, it's just it's just different stuff that is picking up. You know what I mean? Just different stuff that they're picking up. Sort of picking up your sock and picking up, you know, all this other stuff. So, anyway, guys, I will be right back. I'm gonna go get Crash and stay tuned for this one, Nate, because this dog tasked with training it, and I, I didn't I didn't know how to train it, but I got to tell you, it it changed everything I thought about dogs. This particular dog did. So I'll be right back.